It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Let's get out of here. I. Hey guys, it's Aaron from God a Minute, and we got some more hot tamales here to share with you. Uh, here is a comment. Once again, we're going to bring Brad's comment in, and he, he showed us something else really cool, and I'm going to show you some stuff. So here's Brad's comment. Bro, Aaron, I greatly appreciate everything that you do. I'd like to share one more thing I saw last night in Stellarium. There is an asteroid that shares the same name, the Shuruma. So there are two asteroids, guys. And um, there's another one, okay? So just like the newly discovered comet in 2030 at the Feast of Trumpets, it is right there side by side with the asteroid Rachel or Raquel in Virgo. The Nishiruma asteroid is numbered 6306. The Hebrew strong number 6306 is... Padioman, I don't know how to say that, meaning ransom, that were redeemed redemption. What are the odds that two different objects, oh, let me just click this, sorry, named Nishiruma would appear at both of these celestial events? Just wanted to share with you, God bless. So if we look at this uh, incredible drawing of mine, I know, I know it's incredible. Anyway, here is the other one, and it's in Virgo beside Rachel. And it means ransom, redemption. And that's what Jesus is going to do. Hopefully, 2030 is the second coming when he redeems everything, comes back and ransom. It's kind of like a jubilee feel on that too, isn't it? So that's perfect. Isn't it amazing that it's even that Strong's number? Why didn't they just give it like five numbers, like 637321? No, they give it four numbers. And here we are, all these rapture heads looking at Strong numbers. And it means exactly what it should mean at the second coming. Ransom, redemption. Are you kidding me? All right. Another thing that we found here in the video before was username Jerry4665. She discovered uh, an asteroid called Jacob with an I at the end of it. So Jacob with an I. And it's right beside Israel in 2023 at the Feast of Trumpets. So that amplifies that even more. And the third thing I want to amplify, this is from Brother Dana. I'm going to link his video that he recorded already. At the end of this video, he explains it with uh, Stellarium. Essentially what's going on is there is an asteroid called 118P Shoemaker Levy. It was in the womb of Virgo at this 2017 uh, revelation sign, okay? Six years later, it does its rotation, and it comes back to the womb of Virgo at this Feast of Trumpets. It's back in the womb once again. So this particular asteroid has had a six-year journey. Again, I'm going to say it. Feast of Trumpets 2017. <laughs> Feast of Trumpets 2023. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, Levi, mm -hmm, we could probably go with something something with that. You know, uh, Leviticus, uh, Aaron, the priest, uh, Levi. I don't know. I don't know what we can do with that. Maybe there's something there. Maybe not. But even the fact that there is a rock flying in space and was there in 2017 and came back in 2023, both at the Feast of Trumpets, both of these Revelation 12 signs, you know, I think this this rock was was the, uh, what do you call it? Mm, the thing that tied the two signs together. You know, the glue. The glue between the two papers. This is very interesting. This is so awesome that it means ransom, redemption in 2030, right beside Rachel. We have another Jacob thing beside Israel. Thank you, team. Jesus, we got three people contributing to this video. Thank you guys for all your blessings. Thank you guys for all um, your support. Thank you guys for all just contributing together. I love the phrase, go team Jesus. That's what this is about. After this video is Brother Dana's video. And let's just keep on rocking this until we fly. I love you guys very much. See you in the clouds. One day closer. Go, Jesus, go. So I wanted to make a quick video about this 118P Shoemaker Levi Comet. Now this comet was found by brother Patrick over at Hourly Watch channel and he pointed out I think in his latest video that this comet actually happened to be in the belly of Virgo during the 2017 Revelation 12 sign and you can see that right here that that's true so you got the moon under her feet sun over her shoulders crown of 12 stars over her head and Jupiter was just born or being in the process or is in the process of being born and this little red reticule here marks the location of the comet Shoemaker Levi now, if I go forward in time by day, you can see it's sort of following the same motion of Jupiter, the man-child, of being birthed. Maybe it's like a couple days behind. So that's interesting. 
But what's really interesting to me is that if you start going forward in time by month, you can see that this comet, still marked by the red reticule here, it just leaves the whole scene entirely. And over the months and years, it just kind of follows the ecliptic. But around mid-2023, you can see that it re-enters the scene. And it's over there, up there by Leo. And then here's July, here's August, here's September. And move forward by day now. You can see that right around the exact time of this um, 2023 Revelation 12 sign, it re-enters Virgo's belly. So you can even see Comet Nishimura there, right? Um, flying by. So I thought that was pretty amazing. Uh, this There's this comet that just gets born out of Virgo's belly at pretty much the same time as the Jupiter man-child in the Revelation 12 sign in 2017, and it just happens to re-enter at the exact same time of the asteroidal 2023 Revelation 12 sign. Um, and I think what it's telling us is that you know, it's basically linking and connecting those two signs and validating them. So, that's it. Hallelujah, I'll see you in the rapture.